Good day to you, my dear brothers and sisters. This is Father Ron Sandoval, SVD, Chaplain of the Philippine Sigotes Dinsgemeinde here in Vienna, Austria. I welcome you all to this moment with Jesus, the Word of God. Today is October 15, Thursday of the 28th week in Ordinary Time. But the Church also celebrates the memorial of St. Teresa of Jesus, Virgin and Doctor of the Church. Samahan niyo po ako sa ating pakikinig at pagninilay sa salita ng Diyos. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, to the holy ones who are in Ephesus, and faithful in Christ Jesus, grace to you, and peace from God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as He chose us in Him before the foundation of the world, to be holy and without blemish before Him. In love, He destined us for adoption to Himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of His will, for the praise of the glory of His grace, that He granted us in the Beloved. In Christ, we have redemption by His blood, the forgiveness of transgressions, in accord with the riches of His grace that He lavished upon us. In all wisdom and insight, He has made known to us the mystery of His will, in accord with His favor that He set forth in Him as a plan for the fullness of times, to sum up all things in Christ, in heaven and on earth. The Word of the Lord Psalm 98 The Lord has made known His salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for He has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for Him, His holy arm. The Lord has made salvation. The Lord has made known His salvation. The Lord has made His salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed His justice. He has remembered His kindness and His faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has made known His salvation. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord. All you lands break into song. Sing praise. The Lord has made known His salvation. Sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. The Lord has made known His salvation. Gospel Antiphon, I am the way and the truth and the life, says the Lord. No one comes to the Father except through me. A proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. The Lord said, Woe to you who build the memorials of the prophets whom your fathers killed. Consequently, you bear witness and give consent to the deeds of your ancestors, for they killed them and you do the building. Therefore, the wisdom of God said, I will send to them prophets and apostles. Some of them they will kill and persecute in order that this generation might be charged with the blood of all the prophets shed since the foundation of the world from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zechariah who died between the altar and the temple building. Yes, I tell you, this generation will be charged with their blood. Woe to you, scholars of the law! You have taken away the key of knowledge. You yourselves did not enter, and you stopped those trying to enter. When Jesus left, the scribes and the Pharisees began to act with hostility toward Him and to interrogate Him about many things, for they were plotting to catch Him at something He might say. The Gospel of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. It has been long that I have stopped reading comments, for example, in the Facebook. Because it's, uh, it's also interesting to know the minds, uh, how, how the minds of people um, work and run with particular issues. But that was a long time ago. I stopped um, watching and I stopped uh, reading those comments because <laughs> it saddens me, uh, maybe short of being furious about this, because someone would start questioning or criticizing a particular uh, decision, a particular activity, or a particular thing that was done by another person, by the church, by the government, by my political party. And, my God, woe to you, woe to the person who criticized, because it will, it will go back to him, no? It will go back to him. And the exchange of words, my God, I can sabi ko, hindi ko makain yung mga salitang pagpapalitan doon, yung mga mura, yung mga nakakababa ng humanidad. <laughs> nakakababa ng humanity talaga yung palitan ng salita doon. And, and the person was only asking, that person was only questioning, but what to you? No? And everything about that person who questioned came out. That he was so, that he was... <laughs> He has this sins, that his parents has this kind of disposition, that his brothers and sisters, I mean, kawawa naman yung tao. He was only asking a question and then everything that was negative about him came out. That was the response. Bakit ganon? The, the, Jesus questions the Pharisees. He questions how they acted in the tradition, how they acted in the past, and that, that, they are, that their lifestyle is, is, is still... Um, against the, what God wants them to do. No? And instead of looking at the things that Jesus is pointing out, instead of trying to think, maybe he is right, what, what, what I am doing with my life, ano sabi dito? they act with hostility towards him and interrogate him because they are already plot, plotting something in, against him. Y- yun yung kasalanan ng mundo ngayon and, and that's very very actual because we are guilty of this there the the pharisaic in us that when we are criticized when our thoughts our opinions what we're doing our lifestyle is being criticized instead of looking at the veracity or maybe the truth of what is being told me and i mean you know doing something the false things of what kasi and dami rin naman nating mali no Instead of um, looking at what they're telling me, especially if the person telling me is a person who is my enemy or a person who is who is uh, um, a person who hates me, all the more that I will listen to what they're telling because there could always be a truth of of a truth in in the things that they're telling me, no? Because yung mga kaaway natin, they will also always want to make us feel bad by by showing to us who we are, and and uh, they are more critical in that. Because yung mga kaaway natin. Our attitude is to really look in what they are saying because there could be the truth to us and that's how we could really change ourselves. Our problem, and I guess it's the problem of the humanity, is that ang hirap natin tumanggap ng corrections. It is very difficult for us to accept criticism and corrections for that matter. Again, instead of trying to scrutinize, yeah, maybe I was really wrong, maybe, I, maybe the opinion was, was wrong, maybe the decisions was wrong and I can do something about it. Instead of that kind of attitude, is who to you, no? Who are you to tell me that? You're only a son of a, of, a, of a person of ill repute. Your brothers and sisters are like this and you yourself, no? Who are you to tell me that? You're also, you have no education. I mean, you know, we throw so many things to the person. Nakaka, nakakasama ng kalooban, no? Instead of getting something out of this very negative situation for our benefit, we, we, we add more damage <laughs> to the injury, no? We talk about the people. Why don't we talk of the philosophies and the ideas? Sabi nga, great minds talk about philosophies and ideas. The smallest minds talk about people. Kaya siguro hindi umalad-unad ang Pilipinas. Hanggang ang usapan lang natin, kahit saan ay buhay ng mga nasa showbiz. Di ba? Paano tayo umalad niyan? No? Why can't we talk about beautiful things? And Jesus Christ came. No? I go to the first reading. Jesus Christ came and He blessed us with every spiritual blessing in heaven. Kumbaga, the, the ego in us, the pride in us, 
the envious person in us and other people, hindi naman tayo dapat na maingit sa ibang tao o sa sinasabi tungkol sa atin because God has gifted us already with all the blessings that we need. Pantay-pantay ang pagtingin ng Diyos sa atin. And who are we to destroy the other person simply because that person has done or had said or criticized a, a, a part of me, no? A part of me. He he has asked us, no? And he um, he blessed us before the foundation of the world to be holy and to be to be without blemish before Him. Ang layo-layo pa natin sa, pag, sa pag-iisip ng Panginoon. How far are we still from the mind of God? And in the end, it was mentioned here, He came for the reconciliation of heaven and earth. He came for the reconciliation of heaven and earth. And if we ourselves, people on the earth, cannot be reconciled to one another because we keep on biting, we keep on um, yeah, hating one another, then the kingdom of God is still very far from us. Sana, sana makinig din tayo. Sana, ako, I, I really made it a point that when someone is telling me, instead of being angry at once, because sometimes naman din, the people are only trying to destroy us or trying to, to put us down for whatever reason. And it, it's, ergerlich naman talaga yun. It's, it's something that could create anger in us. But again, before going into that, think first of what the person is saying. Kasi it could... There's always the truth to that. And it is something that could really help me to become a better person. No, do not attack the others because of that. Ulit-ulit lang siguro ako. Because that is what we are. That is that the Pharisaic in us. That we, instead of really getting the, the juice and the good things of what is being told of us, we get stones and throw it to the one who criticizes us. Huwag ganon. Huwag ganon. Let's work for peace. Dapat ay meron tayong pakialam, pero hindi tayo nakikialam. No? Meron tayong pakialam. We have, we have our concern, but we, wala tayo, hindi tayo nakikialam. Nakikialam is to put already your thing in the, in the things of other people. Eh. Um, to nakikisaw-saw na tayo. No? We are already meddling with the affairs of other people. No, no, no. Whenever we criticize also that's from our part, it is, I hope, done out of love. So that the person would know and grow out of love. Criticism hurt. Criticisms, all criticisms, they all hurt. Because the truth hurts. Because, but, but it's not ending there. The truth that hurts is also the truth that would set us free. It's very, very biblical. And so, dapat nga, we welcome criticisms. Eh? We welcome those opinions of other people against us for us to know more about ourselves. It's like a mirror na maybe we cannot be seeing things to ourselves, but the mirror is the one that will help to see more of ourselves. And what people are telling us could be mirror. Kung talagang gusto nating mabago ang ating sarili, kung gusto, if we are really intent on bringing the best in us and, and I mean, you know, correcting the mistakes and, and erasing the, the mistakes, then listen to what other people are also telling us. And then, Let's change. Do not attack them. Thank them. Magpasalamat tayo for correcting us. And that's how peace, that's how peace is being achieved in this world. Marami pa tayong gagawin, mga kapatid. Ang layo-layo pa ng ating dapat na gawin para magkaroon tala ng tunay na pagkakasundo at tunay na malasakit sa isa't isa. We're still far from really being at peace with one another and correcting and, and really having genuine concern for the benefit of the other people. But do that. Jesus is there. Jesus is embrace Jesus. Embrace his teachings and do it. Not only in the mind, but let it go to the heart. Meditate on it and let the hands fulfill it. Ganun lang po yun. That's how we would belong to the kingdom of God. Amen. Hilingin natin sa Panginoon na maging makatotohanan tayo sa ating mga gawain. Panginoon, gawin mong totoo ang aming puso sa iyo. Sa ating buhay bilang bahagi ng bayan ng Diyos, naway magampanan natin ang mga hamon ng Ibanghelyo sa ating palagi ang pagsaksi. Panginoon, gawin mong totoo ang aming puso sa iyo. Atin nawang maiwasang gawin ang mga bagay na nakikiayon o pagpapakitang tao lamang. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, gawin mong totoo ang aming puso sa iyo. Yung mga pinanghihinaan ng loob dahil sa ating hindi naging magandang ugali at pakikitungo, 
Naway manumbalik sa pagsisimba sa pamamagitan ng ating pagbabalik loob at pagbabagong buhay. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, gawin mong totoo ang aming puso sa iyo. Ang mga may sakit naway makita ang mapagpagaling na kamay ng Diyos sa dinaranas nilang mga pagsubok at paghihirap. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, gawin mong totoo ang aming puso sa iyo. Ang mga yumao na sa buhay na ito, naway tanggapin sa walang hanggang karwalhatian. Manalangin tayo. Panginoon, gawin mong totoo ang aming puso sa iyo. Sa katahimikan ng ating puso, itaas natin sa Panginoon ang ating mga pansariling kahilingan. Ama, tulungan mo kaming sumamba sa iyo ng may totoong puso upang makalapit kami sa iyo sa espiritu at katotohanan. Hinihiling namin ito sa pamamagitan ni Kristo ang aming Panginoon. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, holy be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you so much for being with us in our today's reflection. Again, tandaan natin pa nga mga kapatid, walang taong perfecto. Siguro pangalan perfecto, pero walang taong perfecto. Lagi tayo makakahanap at makakahanap ng kakulangan sa isang tao. And so, do not, do, wag yun ang hanapin natin. Ang hanapin natin yung kabutihan ng tao. Huwag nating palakihin ang mali, ang palakihin natin yung kadakilaan ng isang tao. This is Father Ron Sandoval, live streaming from Vienna, Austria. Magandang araw, magandang buhay sa inyong lahat. Happy Thursday!